Hello guys and welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to connect Wi-Fi on your Linux Mint and what steps you can take in case it doesn't work. So stay tuned and let's get started. So I've been getting a lot of questions lately about Wi-Fi not working in Linux Mint. So I decided to make a video on this topic because it seems to be a very popular question. So the first step, when you see this sign where you see like no connection, this symbol here at the bottom right corner, it says there is no connection. So go ahead and left click on it and you get two options. One is for wired and another one is for wireless. If you have a cable, you can just plug in the cable and it will automatically identify the internet signal and you'll get internet right away. If you don't have the ethernet cable and you want to use the wireless connection, what you need to do, you just need to toggle this switch here to the on position, left click on it, and then it will scan for the available networks and you can choose from the networks that are around you. So the second step, you got to choose the network that you want to use. If you have few routers you can connect to, try to choose the router that has the best signal strength. In my case, I can connect to this router which got 79% signal strength, but it's only at 2.4 gigahertz, which will not give me a very high speed. I prefer to connect to the five gigahertz and you can see that there should be a 5 gigahertz over here. Yeah, you can see the 8792 5 gigahertz. And it's only getting 59% signal strength. But because it's 5 gigahertz, it will be way quicker. So I would rather connect to the 5 gigahertz than 2.4 gigahertz. But on another hand, I have another router that I can connect to. This one right here, the Asus F0 5 gigahertz, which got a 64% signal strength instead of 59 only 5% higher, but that's still better. So I'm gonna connect anyway. And to do that, you just got a left mouse click on it. Then you need to enter the password for the network. So just type the password for the network. You can choose to show password in case you wanna see if you have typed correctly. If you're sure you have typed correctly, just press connect. There we go, the connection is established. Now we connect it to the Wi-Fi router and you can see the symbol has changed over here. It says the wireless connection. So this is how you do it. This is pretty simple. You can also go to the network settings. This network window will let you see all the networks that are available and you can also see the connections that you have. As you can see, I have connected to this Asus FO 5 gigahertz network. When you install Linux Mint on a desktop machine or laptop with the built-in Wi-Fi adapter, it's usually expected that it will be recognized automatically. But of course, there is a chance that the specific Wi-Fi adapter is not automatically being recognized during the installation process. So what should you do next? You need to update the drivers manually. So for that, you're gonna need an ethernet cable that you can connect manually to your computer. You would need a wired connection to the internet that you can search for additional drivers. Once you connect your computer via network cable to the internet, you need to open up the driver manager. And for that, go to the bottom left corner to the start menu and search for the driver. It's going to bring you this program here, driver manager, click on it. It will look for additional and proprietary drivers available. And if there is a driver available that hasn't been yet installed, it's going to list all these drivers over here in this program that you can choose manually and install them. As you can see right now, I don't need any drivers to be installed. Everything is working perfectly. But in your case, if you don't have wireless internet working, you might need to update the driver. And this is the step that you need to take. After the driver will be updated, Linux Mint will recognize the internal Wi-Fi adapter and then you can follow through the first step that I showed previously and it should be working. This approach should work for many internal wireless adapters, but there's still a chance that you have a wireless adapter in your system for which this approach is not working. This might be the case for some USB-based Wi-Fi dongles which don't have drivers readily available for Linux Mint and in this case, this might be a real issue because you would need to search for the drivers manually, look through the forums and see if there is a solution for this specific Wi-Fi dongle because there are many different brands and some of the brands, they just don't make the drivers for Linux Mint. They just make it for Windows or for Mac. And in this case, it will be really difficult to connect it. So sometimes you have to search for solutions for your specific hardware and then try to find the driver and update it. Once you find the driver and install the proper driver for your USB-based Wi-Fi dongle, it should just work no problem. 
But like I said, it's all the matter of finding proper drivers. And once you know what Wi-Fi dongle you have, you can search for the proper driver on the manufacturer's website or just look on different Linux main forums. Well, I hope this video was helpful to you and help you connect Wi-Fi on your Linux Mint system. If you find this video helpful, please support it with your like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button. This will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful and interesting videos. If you still have any questions or comments, suggestions, drop them down in the comments section below. I'll try to read your comments and help you if I can. If you want to learn more about Linux Mint, you can check out my Linux Mint playlist. I got a lot of videos on variety of Linux Mint topics, so make sure to check it out, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.